and they were making these unbelievably delicious but so ridiculously easy to make <gasps> artichoke puffs oh they're so good they're amazing just crunchy and creamy oh they're so good so good yum copy of today's recipe check us out on facebook at poppy's cucina or right here on youtube under the community tab all right let's get started so easy all right so the first thing you're gonna need are artichokes so here i have um 12 ounce jar of marinated artichoke hearts um you can use frozen or cans i like the ones that are in the jar because they're marinated they have some nice flavors in there it's gonna really add a beautiful flavor to the puffs too so what you want to do is we're going to drain this and then we're going to give them a good rough chop to small pieces. Just like that. So now into a large bowl it goes. And then to this we're going to add one cup of mascarpone cheese along with two cups of um, spinach. I'm using frozen spinach that I thawed out and then I squeezed out all the excess moisture. Um, so right now we're going to mix this all together until you have it's all nice, smooth, and creamy-ish. Because you're going to have chunks of you know what I mean. <laughs> Just like that. And now to this, we're going to add half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese along with one and a half cups of shredded provolone. If you don't want to use provolone, you don't have to. I just love sharp provolone. Oh, it's so good, especially with spinach and the artichokes. Oh, it's going to be so yummy. But Asiago, uh, mozzarella, Swiss, any of those cheeses would work really well. So use, you know, a cup and a half of your favorite cheese. But I do recommend the the provolone. Yum! <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to mix this together. Just like that. Now you'd want to adjust your seasoning. So give it a taste. See how it tastes. If it tastes perfectly seasoned, you're good. Um, but you know, I do recommend a little cracked black pepper and some salt. Um, but always just keep in mind that when the cheese melts, that's definitely going to add some salt content to the artichoke mixture. But also the puff pastry, it's got a high butter content, so that's going to be a little salty as well, too. Um, so you want to be careful. You don't want to make it too salty. Unless you like things that are salty, then go for it. <laughs> All right, so once you adjust, adjust your seasoning, we're going to set this aside, and now we're going to prepare our puff pastry. So here I have my thawed sheet of puff pastry. I thawed it out by taking it out of the freezer and keep it in the fridge overnight. That's the best way to thaw puff pastry. Because it does have a, such a high butter content, if you try to do it like in a microwave or on the countertop, it's just going to melt and become a big old mushy mess. And puff pastry is expensive. You don't want to waste this. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it. Um, lengthwise, we're going to cut this in half. I like to use a pizza cutter because it's nice, consistent. All right, then you're going to cut each half in half again. So you're going to end up with four strips. Just like that. If it's not perfect, don't worry about it. Puff pastry is very forgiving because it's so stretchy. So you can make it fit. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to cut this in half. And then each of these into thirds. Easy so far. What do you guys think of this recipe? You loving it? You hating it? Super easy, right? Let me know in the comments, please. Thank you. All right, so we're going to cut the rest of them just like that. And now here I have my mini muffin tin that has 24 little holes. <laughs> um, I sprayed it thoroughly with a nonstick cooking spray. And now we are going to take each one of these squares and we are going to put them into the holes just like that. You want a little bit of an overlap because then they're going to get nice poofy. So cute and delicious. And if it's not square, just stretch it out and make it square. Make it fit. All right. So we're going to continue filling these up just like that. Now we're ready to start filling. So you're going to want to put probably about one and a half, two teaspoons in each one. Um, you want to just get it filled right to the top. Just like that. Perfect. Nice. Are you seeing this though? Are you getting an idea of what this is? I think the best spinach artichoke dip you've ever had. Super creamy and cheesy in a crunchy shell. <laughs> That's super buttery and amazing. That's what this is. So good. Oh, amazing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to finish filling these up just like that. 
and now it's ready for the oven. So into a preheated 375 degree oven, it's gonna go about 15 to 20 minutes. You're gonna see the uh, puff pastry is gonna just really poof up, become golden brown. When that happens, it's ready. So it might take a little less, maybe a little bit longer. Just keep an eye on it after the 15 minute mark. Um, and don't worry if you have a little leftover, throw this into a crock and you got a beautiful dip. So, hey, or just eat it with a spoon like I've been. <laughs> All right, but into the oven's gonna go. Oh, I can't wait. This is gonna be so good. So exactly 15 minutes later, we pulled these out of the oven. Oh, look at them. Oh, look at them. Oh, they look so gooey and crunchy and amazing. Oh, they look so good. But right now they're way too hot. So we're gonna allow these to cool for at least 10 minutes till, um, before we pop them out and give them a try. Oh, but I can't wait because they smell amazing. Um, bon appetito. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Crunchy. Creamy. Spectacular. Serve these as an appetizer. Even as a side for an entree. With a steak. Mm -hmm. These would be perfect. Oh my gosh, they're so good and so easy. If you try this recipe, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks! Wow, those are good. Who's ready for a drink? I know I am. All right, so for today's peach colada, yeah, we are going to start with, what should we start with? All right, we'll start with two ounces of pineapple juice. One and a half ounces of peach daiquiri mix. And here comes the booze. <laughs> We're gonna start with one ounce of dark rum. One ounce of coconut rum. One and a half ounces of vodka. And then we're gonna do one ounce of peach nuts. We're gonna get this good shaky, shaky, and we pour. So let's see. Yeah, it looks good. Looks kind of creamy. Let's build some. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Salute it. Oh, wow, that's good. <laughs> it's a peachy pina colada. This is fantastic. <gasps> Ah, so creamy and refreshing. You have to try this drink. If you do, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Love you guys.